Hey everybody, so in this video we're going to be talking about how to use TeamViewer on Linux. So if you read the article, it'll go over how to get this program working on Debian, Ubuntu, Arch Linux, Fedora, OpenSUSE, and all other Linux distributions. We're not going to cover that here, instead we're going to cover exactly how to use it. So once you've got it installed, what you need to do is you need to open it on both computers. So I have two computers in front of me. I've got my computer that I'm recording on that I'm going to be connecting with so you guys can see the remote access and I've got another computer that I'm going to be hosting the connection. They're both running Linux because it's how I like to do things. But to start off, when you have the program open, you don't even need to sign up. You can use it in guest mode. And as you can see, it gives me an ID and a password. And uh, I can always change this password at any time in case I want I don't want anybody to connect to it. <laughs> I'll have to change that later. But uh, remote control or file transfer is your choices. So file transfer, you just click the button there. You enter the ID. In this case, I enter this, and then I click connect to partner. Now, I need to enter the password that my partner gave me. So that would be this password here. And now, I have the ability to transfer any file back and forth from my computer to the remote computer. I go to the desktop and I can grab my dad's copy of SimCity 3000 and I can click receive. And of course you can't just do it to anywhere. Like see I just tried to receive this to the root folder. That's not going to work. What you got to do is you got to make sure that you go to the right area. So what you can do is you can click up here and you can go to home. Once you're in home you can click any file and you can click receive and now if I go to my file manager and I go here this file here is now on my computer directly from the other desktop and uh, if I want to close the file transfer at any time I can click close and uh, of course because it's free they have a free session thing that comes up and uh, there's also a remote control, which is, I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the main thing that everybody uses TeamViewer for, because file transfer, though it is nice, there are other ways to move files around. But to use TeamViewer as a remote control uh, meeting software or just remote support, same concept, you enter the partner ID, then you click connect to partner, enter the password, and uh, then it opens up in this window here. As you can see, I am on the Ubuntu Mate computer, and uh, I have complete control over it. This is my dad's laptop here, but I can completely manage whatever is going on on this computer directly from here. And uh, it also has other extras, like I can record if I want to, I can take screenshots, file transfer like before, so I can copy more of this you know, these files if I want. And there are communications so I can call and uh, we can also switch sides. And uh, so switch sides is basically if I want to give control of my PC to this computer instead of me controlling this one, you can do that. There are a ton of different options, but the general concept is you install TeamViewer to your PC, you enter the ID and the password, and you're in and you can do whatever you want. It's pretty self-explanatory from here. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, TeamViewer is a great tool for remote support. I use it for my friends all the time because it runs on Windows, Mac, whatever. You don't really need to teach anybody hardly anything, and anyone can install it. So if you're dealing with somebody who's less than computer literate or maybe you just don't want to deal with setting up something complicated like VNC or X2Go. This is a much easier process to just get them to install TeamViewer. So that's going to be about all for me today. I will see you next time.